of Marathon Camp Silver at Yankee Stadium. I mean, the Yankees. They were standing off the field at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Did you take all your secret plans with you when you switched over here? I don't know. I don't know the game here. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of Cranick? I thought he was really good. You know, uh, the way he attacked the zone and the way he uses his pitches. Um, I thought he used uh, his two seam, which is a new pitch for him. And he got a ground ball, and uh, it was really good to see. Velo was up, especially for this time of the year for a guy that's coming up, uh, coming off a Tommy John uh, surgery. So overall, I thought he, he did a really good job. What can he show you in camp? Um, well, the pitchability. You know, this is a guy that uh, before he got hurt, he had really good stuff, and then you know. Uh, last year when he got back uh, from his injury, he was a little timid, you know, but it was really, really good to see today the way he attacked his on and the conviction that he was throwing in pitches. So. Francisco talked about the uh, adjustments that Acuna made today, letting things slow down both in the field and the bats. What did you see out of him today and the uh, exit velocity over his bat? was looked special. Yeah, no, I think uh, the one thing that impressed me today was he got down 0-2, his first at bat, and then got back in the count. He, you know, really good takes on a couple of uh, tough pitches. Uh, that for me, right away, I said some something in the dog. I was like, all right, that looks good right there, you know. And then for him to uh, to, to go the other way on that fastball two two count, I think he was. Uh, it was good. That's what you want to see out of these young kids, young guys. You know, the way they're taking pitches, how they're battling at bats. You know, the way they're competing and putting together some quality uh, uh, ABs. Uh, he was good, and obviously he got results today. Good. No, I was just going to ask you defensively with the Cunha too, Carlos. What do you look for out of him? I know it's a position he's probably going to project to long term that he's thinking about. Just again, kind of slowing the game down a little bit for him. And yeah, and then getting used to the different angles yeah. and then just uh, like the game itself, you know, the, the cuts and relays, the way to be in certain situations, you know, where as a shortstop you need to be somewhere, but as a second baseman might be different, whether it's covering a base, just the communication with the shortstop. And, um, you know, just uh, the game reps itself. Uh, but, you know, the athleticism is there, and uh, obviously the tools are there. How helpful is that something like Rendor on the field with him like that? So yeah, that, that was one of the players. reasons we wanted, you know, put him put him right there with Lindor. So he could see just the way uh, Lindor goes about it. You know, he's the leader on the infield, but whether it's a running on first and the, the communication from pitch to pitch is important. And then the conversations, in, you know, in between innings, you know, like what is he seeing from the pitcher, from from the hitters, like the way they're reading swings. So coming from a guy like Lindor, you know, and having him right next to him is, is important. It's funny because we talk about the transition certain players have to make. We really haven't touched on the transition you've been making in, in spring training as a manager and doing all this. What's been the hardest thing for you to see? Ah, I wouldn't say uh, the hardest. It's just having those conversations with the players and getting a feel for where they at in certain situations, whether it's like a 3-0 count, you know, when they look into steel bases, uh, just more of those conversations with the position players uh, in the dogout now that we start playing games. Thanks, Great. Thanks Carl.